Hello cutie pies and welcome to day one of build two. You're pulling up to a gym, pretend I'm there with you, gym girlfriend. We're gonna walk in, survey the scene, get a dumbbell and find, you know, a little corner that makes you feel cozy. This is the little corner I am choosing today. Um, and we're starting with some standing shoulder press. If you did build one, you're aware of what this entails. So you're just gonna grab two dumbbells. Um, even if the corner that you choose is not next to the dumbbells, that's okay. Just go get the dumbbells and come back to your cozy corner. Um, and make sure you choose dumbbells that are heavier than what we were using in build one. We are progressively overloading. We are adding weight. So we're gonna be doing three sets of eight. Sorry, I didn't give myself enough time to talk before starting the workout, but make sure you're nice and warmed up. And then we are getting started. So um, set number one is done and then again, just like build one, we're gonna have 30 second rest, but that's just so the video isn't 60 minutes long. So if you need a longer rest, no worries. Just pause the video and rest a little longer. All right, so we're getting ready for set number two. Um, again, grab your dumbbells if you need a longer rest, pause. And we're gonna make sure our core is tight make sure that um, we're not using our body's momentum to get the weight up or using our shoulders and yeah if this weight is too easy for you go up a little bit if it's too difficult go down a little bit that's the beauty of a gym is that we have so many weights to choose from now so um, you can go up a little or go down a little based on how you're feeling so we're gonna have a little water break before starting set number three How are we feeling? Are we excited? Are we nervous? Um, I know that this is some of you, your first time in a weight room. So just remember, no one's looking at you. No one cares what you're doing. I mean that in the nicest way possible. Um, it's just easy to feel like people are staring at you. Oh, start set number three while listening to me. Um, it's easy to feel like people are staring at you when you're in a new space, but I promise everyone's just focus on their own workouts, okay? So just pretend I'm there with you and we're working out together, repping out these shoulder presses. Yes, we did it. Great job. Next, we're going to be doing some bent over row, a little back exercise if you remember. Um, so you may need different dumbbells for this one. So during this rest time, go get the dumbbells you need for your bent over row. Again, we're increasing weight from what you did prior. So go, go get that. All right, grab your dumbbells. And remember, slight bend in the knees core tight bend over and we are pulling up utilizing our back muscles you should be pulling your weights up to your torso around your rib cage if they're hitting your boob area um you're going up too high just you know make sure you're lowering the positioning a little bit and we did the first set great job if the weights are too heavy or too light make sure you switch them out and um yeah, I don't know why I'm pacing around so much, acting like I own the damn place. See, this is where you're gonna be eventually. Once you get comfortable in the gym, just walking around, acting like you don't care if you're in someone's way. Like, stay to your area, girl. Anyways, okay, set number two is coming. Okay, set number two, core tight, soft knees, looking at the ground in front of you, not craning your neck up and looking up at a mirror or anything. Feeling the squeeze in your back, feel it in your biceps a little bit as well. Great job, guys. If you see me looking at you all suspiciously, it's just because I was paranoid that my camera stopped recording, so. Don't, don't be alarmed.
All right, we're getting ready for set number three. After this, we're moving on to the cables. Exciting. Um, okay, soft bend in the knees. Look at the ground in front of you. Feel the squeeze in your back. Great job. And great job. So we're gonna put our dumbbells back and then we are gonna move towards the cables. Um, I'll show you what attachment you'll need and stuff. So first grab one of these ropes. You can use a straight bar as well if your gym doesn't have the ropes. Um, and then you may need to adjust the height. Uh, we're gonna be doing tricep extension. So it should be at around your head, a little bit higher than your head. Um, you're gonna clip on the rope and adjust your weight and we are getting started. So you're gonna hold the rope right above the knobs and keep your elbows pinned to your side like you see me doing and you're gonna pull down and you should feel it in your triceps, that muscle in the back of your arm. Um, we're doing three sets of eight. So see how whatever weight you chose, see how it feels for you. You may need to increase, you may need to decrease. If you have to move your elbows, like if you can't keep them pinned to your side, then it's too heavy. So lower a little bit. Um, and you wanna feel the squeeze at the top of each rep. So those are some little cues for you. Um, it felt a little weird at first. You will get the hang of it, I promise. Um, this is me panicking that someone's gonna get mad at me for having a camera. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get ready for set number two. Hold right above the knobs. And you also have a slight bend in the waist and slight bend in the knees. Um, so you're gonna pull down and squeeze, pull down and squeeze. Elbows stay pinned to your side. Um, and yeah, I really like this exercise. It's a really good way to isolate the tricep. Hopefully that felt good. Um, rest again and then we only have one more set of these. I know this is a pretty short and simple workout but it's this first week is you know doing bare minimum make sure you're still pushing yourself on weight so you're still challenging your muscles um, but it's to get you used to the gym atmosphere and get get started on those staples so the workouts will be longer in the future um, but we're just getting you used to the gym right now so yeah Anyways, okay, set number three, ready, go. Great job. Slight bend in the waist, slight bend in the knees. Also, you can pause the video while you're figuring this out. I should have said that three sets ago, but um, I know I kind of rushed through it. Sorry, I thought I left more room for me to explain things. Um, okay, so now we're going to be doing cable bicep curls. So you're going to stay in the same place, but lower it all the way to the ground. You pull that little knob and it should let you lower it. I struggle with it sometimes. So if you struggle with it a little bit, that's okay. We all, sometimes like the cable machine's like fucking rusty, so it's hard. Um, okay, so you put it on the ground. You may need to adjust your weight. Um, keep the rope attachment on there. If you had to use the bar, that's also fine. And we're gonna be doing some bicep curls. So you're gonna hold the rope uh, upside down to how it was. So the knobs are on top of your hands now. Slide bend in the knees and we are curling it up. And you're gonna keep, again, your elbows pinned to your side because we're just utilizing our biceps to get that weight up. Um, we're doing three sets of eight again. So make sure you feel the squeeze in your biceps at the top of the rep. If you have to, you know, move your arms more and you can't keep your elbows pinned to your side, the weight may be too heavy for you, so lower it a little bit. Um, we wanna make sure we're just utilizing our biceps. Take a little water break, which is what I should be doing right now instead of getting on my phone, but you know, no one's perfect. All right, set number two, yes, yes. Grab your ropes, knobs on top of your hands, and curl up, there you go. Doing great. Oh, 
Elbows pinned to your side. No cheating. Great job. We have one more set of these. All right, set number three, grab your ropes. Elbows stay at your side, feel it in your biceps. And after this, we're going to the lat pull down, which is for your back, by the way. Great job. So you're gonna just move over. The lat pull down should be right next to where you were at. It has a straight bar clipped on top. So you're gonna need to adjust the knee pads. Uh, see, I was struggling because this shit is rusty. Um, and you want it to be resting right on your knees. Um, so you're gonna grab the bar at a little more than shoulder width apart. Um, you'll find what's most comfortable for you. You need to adjust the weight as well. And you're gonna pull it down to your chest. I want you to notice several things. One, uh, my torso is staying still, so I'm not using my whole body to rock the weight down. I am just using my back to get that down. You will feel it in your biceps a little bit, um, but you should be mostly feeling it in your back muscles, your lats to be specific, which are those muscles right underneath your armpit. Um, so great job. If you didn't if you didn't feel perfect right away, that's totally okay. It's a new movement. Um, so yeah, it'll feel better. Um, if it felt too easy, increase the weight. If you had to rock your whole body to get the weight down, then decrease the weight. Um, if you're at the lowest weight, that's no big deal. You're gonna work your way up. So don't let it stress you out at all. Why do I look, I look mean right now. I gotta look mean in the gym though, so that's fine. Um, okay, set number two. Stand up, get, get your bar and pull it down to your chest. Keep that torso still. Don't, don't rock it down. You're using your back. Good job, only one more set. You're killing it. Water, oh no, I'm still not grabbing my water, but you grab your water. Oh, I'm putting you on my story, say hi, smile. All right, third set. Grab the bar. Again, you can pause if this is too short of rests. Pull down to your chest. Great job. Killing it. Almost there. You did it. So proud of you. And now we are on to some chest press, uh, some bench press, I mean. So you're gonna find a flat bench such as this. Um, you're gonna grab your dumbbells and lay back. Sorry, I did not give myself enough time to pause and figure out how to get in this position, okay? But you're gonna put them on your knees, lean back, and then press them up. Um, you can have a slight arch in your back like you see me doing. It's most comfortable for me and sets my shoulders correctly. Um, so just figure out what's most comfortable for you. You can send me videos of your bench press if you want me to check your form for you. Um, so yeah, we're already done with the first set. So sorry. I'm sure you paused to like get a bench and get your weights and everything. Um, I will, I should have left way more time to explain all of that. So, so sorry. 
Um, okay, anyways, but you're gonna be getting your weights, get a flat bench, see, okay, put them on your legs like you see me doing, lay backwards, have them on your chest, press them up, and then you can get into position. So the elbows also are not gonna be at exactly a 90 degree angle. You see how they're a little bit down from being exactly parallel to my shoulders. That's the best positioning for like your arms and where your elbows are. Um, so you should feel it in your chest, a little bit in your shoulders. Um, again, let me know if you're having issues with form and I will assist you. So send me videos, but you're doing great. If you can't find a flat bench, if your gym is busy at this time and you need to do floor press like we did in build, that's totally fine. Just use an increased weight than what we were using um, in build. And then we just got one set left after this and then we're going back to our corner with dumbbells for some lateral raises, which are for our shoulders, if you remember. Good job, dumbbells on your legs, lay back and press up. Great job. Feel it in your chest and your shoulders, doing so good. Oh, and whenever you need to be done, put them on your chest and just drop them to the side like you see me doing. Um, great job. Get your dumbbells for lateral raises and go back to your corner. All right, so lateral raises, remember, we're lifting the dumbbells out to the side. Um, so you may need lower weights than you were using for your shoulder press, but still make sure that you're going heavier than you did prior. Um, remember, slight bend in the elbows, lead with your elbows, slight bend in the knees, slight bend in the waist. Great job. All right, getting ready for set number two. So sorry again that like, you know, this isn't a perfect video. See why, I don't know why my title got messed up um but remember the first workout of build one i had there was a learning curve for me as well so thank you for bearing with me it's a different different project doing it in the gym because i have more things to explain so thank you for bearing with me um okay so grab your dumbbells set number two feeling it in your shoulders leading with your elbows core is tight Great job, set number three is coming and then we're done with the workout. So you're almost there in the home stretch. Make sure you're using the right weights. All right, last set, give it your all. Try to squeeze out 10 reps if you can. We're almost done. Great job. Um, as I stated in the intro, we're not doing core work on camera because we're mostly, uh, you know, working on the lifting and getting into the gym but if you want to do a little core workout i will have one in the description box for you to do at the end of this workout um so 
Go do that if you want. Make sure you stretch, get some protein, get some good sleep tonight, and I will see you guys for day two tomorrow. Super proud of you. Okay, bye.